Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, and if you're already a returning subscriber, welcome back. Okay, so in today's video, I actually looked at my video analytics for my last video and it, for my Vex Coding Studio, and it becomes it, it seems that it became kind of popular. So I'm, I was like, why not make another video and help you guys? So here I am making another video. So I actually enjoy this a lot, actually though. So as you're looking at this, this is a new uh, this is my competition template from last year, and yeah. I just programmed all of this and it's not too bad. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to program your driver control and your remote controls. So yeah, so let's just get started. So first of all, I'm gonna open up a new template in Vex C++. So let's just grab out the things we need. We need a controller for sure. I mean, uh, so to purchase for today, I'm gonna to program three motors. Uh, name all of them, right wheel one. Let's go right wheel not one just right wheel sorry right wheel i'm really gonna put it in port one left wheel uh we're gonna put that in port two and uh let's just put our motor yeah. uh you might want to save it i'm just not doing it just for the sake of the video so yeah let's just get started so we got all those motors in so what are we gonna do now Yes, I kind of struggled and I kind of learned from my mistakes and it wasn't too bad actually programming. So let's just get started. And first we're going to program the wheels. So first I'm going to start with the left wheel. So as you can see, we're going to, I'm going to explain everything, what this is, like what the commands actually mean. So you guys can actually know and understand what is the meaning behind it. Cause I like learning this stuff for some reason, but just skip ahead if you, if you don't want to watch it, but if you really want to learn it go ahead if you're like me so we're gonna put both of these motors um so uh, i'm programming this r uh, left field sorry and for the left field so so far i said we wanted the direction to go forward and we want that to be operated in controller one and in axes axes um two or sorry three and this is because um, we want them, uh, if you want them to go up and down in your joystick, then yes, you would want to have it in this. Um, and then we're going to end it up with the VEX velocity units, and we're going to go with PCT for percentage. And same thing with the right, right wheel. Um, same thing. So same spin thing again. And VEX, direction type, forward. Some people just reverse the motors, but that's fine because if you want to go one uh, joystick uh, opposites of each other, then that's fine too. Axis two this um, this time, and then dot value, and then put that parentheses there, and then you're wanting to move in the axis. That's what that means. That command means, and then velocity units is you're going into a percentage. So a lot of uh, one of the mo main questions that I get is okay how do you put uh, how do you set the wheel speed to something uh, you can't really do that because you have the if, so it's basically for the joystick you the pressure that you're putting on the joystick depends on your speed so if you're pushing it all the way through then it's going to go at the max speed if you're kind of decreased that's kind of like kind of slightly pressured then it's not going to go as fast as you think so i think that's basically you operating with the um with the pressure that you get so now we're going to program the arm motor and since we're doing that we're gonna we're gonna use the else uh, if, else if, and else statements. So if, so I'm going to be explaining all of these guys, so hold up. So controller one, if I'm pressing, if in controller one, if I'm pressing button L1, yeah, that's what the pressing means. And then you have to end it with the parentheses, because this has been the thing I've been struggling for. I forget it all the time. You're going to program the arm motor and dot spin. Then we're going to type the same thing direction type yep and then forward because we want the program to go forward the motor to go forward sorry program so now 
is the part that where it gets kind of confusing, not really confusing, but it's kind of confusing. So right now I put a comment called speed and the reason is you want to set a, a, set a speed to the motor that you're controlling for the arm and so this is going to be integer so it's going to be int um, arm speed pct it's the arm speed percentage I'm going to set it to 50% and there it is so you just type the arm speed pct pct and then there oh my god sorry Okay, RSV PCT, and then you're going to type the VEX velocity units, and that's going to be uh, into the percentage again. There you go. So you programmed one button, or actually like two joysticks and one button so far. So now you're going to put the else if statement. It's the same thing from the top. So controller one, but except the buttons will be changing and then the direction type will be changing. So button L2, dot pressing. Yup, and then we want the parentheses and then R motor, dot spin. Yup, and then we want the X direction type, not just the direction type. Uh, direction type dot F. We want to reverse it. I told you this is probably something I'm going to make a mistake about. But arm speed PCT, you want to set it to 50%. Vex velocity units, and the velocity units you're using is PCT. You can also use rotations per minute. It's just that uh, I think PCT setting it to PCT is kind of, I just feel it easier and more comfortable. And we're going to throw down the last statement, and that's if you're not clicking any button. The program's just gonna start our motor dot stop and that's gonna be vex break type and then we're gonna put break so one reason i kind of went fast in here is because you know i'm kind of running out of time but as well i just wanted more time to explain all of these so when you're using the else if else if and else statement this can be kind of confusing because you're kind of saying to the computer if you if on controller one if you're pressing button l1 if that's called pressing you want to put the pressing not the press because if you press it then after you press it then it will be working that's not going to be the one you want so if it's better if you put pressing so control in controller one if you're pressing button l1 then your arm motor is going to spin forward uh, forward at a speed of 50%. That's what the PCT stands for as I said before If you're not clicking that then you're gonna come it's the program's gonna come down and it's gonna be like, okay So now that's not the right thing. So I'm gonna do uh, if you're pressing L2 Then the arm motor is gonna spin reversed. It's gonna be spinning backwards and it's gonna go at a speed about 50 um, 50 p uh, percentage and if I'm not clicking anything and the motors just gonna stop so it's not, not going to work anything so that's like the whole thing and same thing for the wheels except you're using the controller as i said before the pressure you put on the joystick kind of determines how fast and slow you'll be going and it will go uh, and then the percentage will be in speed so like the speed will be in percentage and so yeah i hope this kind of helps um let me know in the comments below if you need any help and make sure to subscribe uh yeah so if you found this video helpful sorry uh give it a thumbs back a uh, thumbs up and share it with your friends so you know they're not stuck too bye